Hello and welcome to Learning Science. In this video, I will talk about the fields parameter in Power BI. The fields parameter option is newly added in Power BI desktop as a preview features. Let's jump to the computer and I will show you how fields parameter works. So here you can see my bar chart total cells by category. On Y axis, I have a total cells and on X axis, I have category. Here you can see the slicer with the different column options. Now I want to change my X axis for this bar chart based on slicer selection. So let me select color. Let me select country. So total cells by country, models, total cells by model. So I am changing my X axis dynamically based on slicer selection. Now let me explain this line chart. So by default you can see average order quantity by month. So I have a different type of measures. So average order quantity, average sales. Here you can see max order quantity, max sales, total order quantity and total sales. So for this line chart, I will dynamically change my Y axis. So by default, it is average order quantity. Now let me select average sales. So you can see average sales by month, max order quantity by month, max order, max sales by month, total order quantity by month, total sales by month. So let me jump to demo page and I will show you how you can add fields parameter. So first we have to enable these options. You have to go file, option and setting, option, preview features and here you can see fill parameters. So I have already enabled it. So if it is not enable on your machine, please enable it. Click OK. Close the Power BI application and restart the Power BI application. And let me say cancel. And let me also show you my data table. So this is my data table is a sales data. So now let me add. First fields parameter. From modeling tab. New parameter. Fields. So this is optional. You have to give parameter name. So I will say. Column. And from my data table, I will add business segment, category, color and model. So once I will click on create, it will do two things. First thing is it will add a one slicer with all these options and other it will create a small table in your data model. So let me click on create. As I told you, the one slicer is added. Now, if you can see the data model, this is my data model. So the column options table is added. If you want to see the code for this, you can see from here. Now let me add a bar chart. So I will add a bar chart. So my bar chart is added. Now on X axis, I will select this field column options and on y axis i will select my major total cells okay let me enable a data level so and here slicer i will select single single select options from setting okay so by default is a business segment on X axis. Now X axis is category. Similarly, color and models. 
now let me add line chart here so this is my line chart now i will add a one more field parameters so and i will add all these measures average order quantity average sales max sales total order quantity to total sales so again i will go to modeling tab new parameter fields here i will calculation the parameter name is calculation and from ma major tab i will add all this on this one okay and kill it now again it will add a one slicer and if you can see here column calculated options so for my line chart i will use calculated calculated options for y axis and from my data table i will select month on x axis and i will change a single selection for this slicer I will go to setting. I will say selection as a single slicer. And I will say categorize, not continue. And I will also enable data label. Now you can see average order quantity by default. Now you can see average sales by month, max order quantity, max sales total order quantity total sales that's all for this video please subscribe to learning science for amazing videos thank you for watching